It was a celebration for one of Australia's most sought after aircrafts. First flying in World War II after being designed in the 1930s, the iconic biplane remained the ideal mode for air warfare until it was replaced in 1952. Organisers say the event was a true celebration for one of our first flying heroes. It went absolutely spectacular, better than I thought. Yeah, we had a public come out here and they drove back and forwards all day long and uh, they had great flying weather. 35 aircrafts flying into Leeton for the two-day spectacle. Now, this is the third year that we've held it and uh, it's growing and growing, it's, it's larger all the time, so we're looking for a real bright future for vintage aircraft here in Leeton. A major development in the event structure could now be on the cards, with the local Antique Aviation Club striking a deal with the Preserved Military Vehicles Association. They have got a large number of military vehicles and they've been looking for a place in the country to take them, to sort of get back away from the city events. So uh, we're looking at that, you know, to have a sort of wings and wheels, old aeroplanes and old vehicles. Leetonshire Council applauded for its helping hands. To run an event like this, you know, it takes, you've got to have a good uh, local authority and um, the Leetonshire Council, we couldn't have done it without them, you know, they've been really helpful being a small club. Organisers already preparing for next year. Dean Foscarini, Win News.